Hey everybody, this is Jennifer. I'm coming to you with another sales update video. Uh, like I said in the last video, I'm going to try to do shorter videos. I'm going to try to do more each week. So at least hopefully minimum two, hopefully three sometimes. Um, but I'm going to do shorter videos. Okay, before I get started, I just want to show you this product because I tried it and I'm just so happy with it. I've been using it for about two months and it has just saved me an immense amount of time polishing shoes because I don't need to use shoe polish anymore. Um, it basically cut that out almost 80%. Um, it's a Doc Martens Unisex Wonder Balsam Shoe Polish. Um, this is just, it's fantastic. All you need is a tiny, tiny amount when you open up the page and you see it on Amazon, you're going to say, oh my God, it's 10 bucks for 2.5 ounces. It seems like such a tiny amount, but you only need a very, very tiny amount to do the shoes. Like I said, I've been using it for two months. I don't even think I'm halfway through it, so it's well worth it. Um, I also use it before I ship it out sometimes, like if I've had the shoes for a while, like a year, and they look a little bit dingy, I just take a tiny bit and just, you know, do the tips or toes of the shoe, and it just gives it a really, really nice look, a really polished look. So if you want to give it a try, you can pick it up at Amazon. It's $9.99 free shipping if you have Amazon Prime or if you order over $25. Okay, the second thing I'm going to tell you because um, it's kind of funny. I try doing longer videos because I actually myself, I like longer videos, but it seems like everybody watches um, shorter videos or has a shorter either attention span or time. So if you do like just sitting and watching a video, I kind of assume like everybody knows this, but there might be some of you who don't. There are playlists, like when um, you have a reseller that does a lot of videos, not all of them, but some of them create playlists and I do create playlists. So if you um, wanted to watch all my sales update videos and you didn't want to sift through the eBay tips or haul videos, you just didn't want to watch those, it's put into one playlist for you. And um, if you like another seller's videos, you want to go into this area and check and see if they have playlists because it will save you a lot of time. So basically, I'm going to use myself, but um, you just type Treasure Peak into uh, the search engine that will bring up the channel. You click on the channel and um, instead of clicking on videos, which will just show you all my videos in the time that they were created, you click on playlists. Not everyone's going to have playlists. Um, Okay, you're not going to see two of these. You're not going to see the like videos and the favorites, but you're going to see sales update videos, eBay tips, and um, haul videos. So if you like the haul video and say, wow, that's all I want to watch right now, I don't have that many, but you can click on that. But if you want the sales update videos, you click on that. And what's so great about it is it runs one into the other. I mean, you can watch right from the beginning to the very end. You could start in the middle, but the good thing is you don't have to keep searching for a new video. So that's why I like playlists. Whenever I see a reseller that I really like and I just want to sit there and um, work while I listen to the sales update videos, I go into their playlists and it just continues to play for as many videos as they have. So I just wanted to tell you that if you're new, sorry for everybody who does know that already, but you know, you kind of forget when you're new and you just don't know the basics. So for anybody new, I just wanted to explain that to you. If you like somebody, look to see if they have a playlist and then you can watch the videos that are m more interesting to you or most interesting to you. Okay, let's get started on the sales update video. All right, the first item I have is a woman's born mules heels. Um, born, I born and Clark's and SAS are just my basic brands I pick up all the time. Um, these were $3.50 at the Salvation Army. They were half off. They sold for $19.99 and the buyer paid $32.74 for shipping. Okay, this was interesting. This was a George Foreman tie. And uh, like I said, with the pictures, I always try to pick the most interesting picture to be my first picture. So um, my front picture is always different. Sometimes it kind of looks like that. That would be my first picture. But in this case, I wanted to put the George Foreman right there in the front. I thought that was the most interesting picture. Um, this is a pre-knotted tie and I've never even heard of it and it has zippers on it and it was, it was really strange, but it was only 25 cents. It was brand new. It was at a church sale. So I was like, all right, let me give it a try. I picked it up and it sold probably within two months for $10 and the buyer paid $13 with shipping. 
This is a Tommy Hilfiger sweater. I would not pick this up now. Um, it was cotton. I never saw this tag before, and this is when I was uh, new, and I don't even think I listed it correctly, because I didn't say Crest by Tommy Hilfiger. I don't know if that would have made a difference, but I noticed when I just looked at that, I didn't even put that in the title, which is a mistake. Um, but it was only a dollar. Eventually, I just lowered it and lowered it, and it sold for $9, and the buyer paid $16.20 for shipping. Okay, this is a Forever 21 um, women's dress. Normally, I would not pick this up, but it was at a 50 cent sale. It was skipped over, surprisingly, and when I went inside, it did have tags. So I was like, okay. So I picked it up for 50 cents, and it sold for $13.59 and the buyer paid $17.55 with shipping. Okay, this is a vintage JG hook dress. The only reason I picked it up is it was 50 cents at the Goodwill sale. And it was kind of interesting. And actually with this dress, I did learn that these are good keywords, Mennonite and modest, a modest dress. So when you have a dress that basically goes down by the ankles and has long sleeves where everything is covered, um, you can put modest dress in there. And that is a keyword that people do search for. Um, this was purchased for $15.99 and the buyer paid $23.19 with shipping. All right, this was a Nike, it was vintage. And, well, that was, I didn't put the tag. You know, it's funny because I know in each one of my videos I say, wow, look, I made a mistake in the title or I made a mistake here. Um, I do do a lot of things. A lot of times I work at this after my job, after I've worked eight hours, I'll come home and do this. So I kind of accepted the fact that, you know, when you do that and you burn the candle at both ends, you're going to make mistakes. But here you go. It sells anyway. So, you know, don't beat yourself up if you know what I mean, if you're taking care of your kids during the day and plus you have another job or doing something else and you're making a bunch of mistakes, it's going to happen. But most likely it's not going to be that devastating. So don't worry about it. Um, here you go. Here's a vintage Nike t-shirt. It's long sleeve. And yes, it was vintage. I'm sorry. I can't show you the deck because I didn't put it in the auction. Um, it was extra large. It was only $2.50 at the uh, Salvation Army and it sold for $14.99 and the buyer paid $21.64 for shipping. Okay, this is a vintage uh, Logo 7 Yankees cap. It's a snapback and luckily I did take the picture. So if you see this, if you're looking at the baseball caps, this is like a vintage tag and it does pretty well. So I only paid $2.50 all the hats at my Goodwill or $2.50 and it sold for $15.99 and the buyer paid $19.95 for shipping. Okay, the last item I have is a women's Victoria's Secret flannel pajama set. These are great. If you ever see them, and unless they're completely unreasonably priced, pick them up. They sell very, very well. Um, this was $4.50 at the Goodwill. It sold for $24.99, and the buyer paid $31.64. And this was a size extra small, too, which, you know, some people don't care about size, but usually you will sell the extra smalls. It usually does take longer. This sold within a month. But if you have a larger size, you might even be able to get a little bit more or it will sell a little bit faster. Okay, that's all I have for eBay and I'm gonna show you one Etsy sale. Um, this was a pair of, you will see these all over the place actually. Um, this is a pair of brass reindeer. Um, they were a dollar each at a church sale. So they were only $2. And I, when did I pick them up? I picked them up like last year at this church sale that's here every year and it was right before the holiday. So I did have it for a year and I had it listed. I had to relist it like three times. So going to Christmas of the next year, it's sold and you're like, wow, well, what does that mean listing fees? It means 60 cents because when you list on Etsy, it's 20 cents and I think it's on for four months. So basically if you list for a whole year, it's only costing you 60 cents. So that's no big deal. So it's $2. With the listing fees, it's $2.60, but it's sold for $24.99, so still that's pretty great. So look out for these little deer. They do sell well, especially on Etsy. Okay, that's all I have for you today, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.